All right, so today, uh, well, today, I've done a lot of videos today. Uh, this video will be more lighthearted than the other ones. Won't be me uh, complaining about anything, at least. Uh, maybe a little bit, but I'll show you there that there shortly. But I wanted to talk about uh, Marketplace. So Marketplace and Cura, this is Cura 5.0. If you haven't updated a Cura 5.0, it is time to do so. Um, the new slicing engine is pretty impressive. It does print faster. Um, the parts are looking cleaner. Um, just by its slicing engine, so that's awesome. Um, but up here in the top right, you have Marketplace. When you click on that, you can come down in here, and they have lots of unique tools. So I turned on Arc Welder, and I was specifically visiting this because this printer over here was printing, and I got it to do a couple good prints, but then it started messing up. And, and I'll show you the print that's on it so you can see why it was messing up, but I was wondering if it was potentially Arc Welder. So when I first downloaded Cura 5.0, Arc Welder wasn't updated yet. Um, but when I checked on it today here, it was showing installed. But on my settings, it wasn't here. So I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it because what I'm thinking might have happened is when I went to 5.0, the Arc Welder settings might have been turned on because it was turned on in 4.13 or 3.1, whatever. But... I wasn't able to change it or see it here. So I'm, I'm thinking that might have been the issue because I'll show you what it was, but I just want to go over some other ones here that are pretty cool. So we turned on arc welder, so that's an option. Calibration shapes, this is really neat. And I'll show you where it comes in and how to find it. But this, if you're ever doing a calibration and you need a calibration cube, instead of having to download and upload um, cubes and other things, you can get it right there. Um, if you had a Dremel, you could put in a Dremel here duplicator I'm not sure what this one is duplicate extruder settings in Kira from oh that's cool so instead of you know, you know if you had two extruders if you just do that it'll duplicate it for the other ones rather than you having to go in and manually copy settings one to the other uh, these are log related linear advanced I don't know what that is material cost tool this is kinda cool um, adds tools related to weight and cost of materials such as importing and exporting weights and cost to a file which can be easily distrib distributed so that's kinda cool I'm gonna download that one so we'll just hit accept now it'll want me to restart here so I'll restart in just a second um, material measure tool that sounds cool Moonraker uh, Moonraker is really neat as well as Octoprint you might have your printer set up on that um, and if you use one of these you might be able to send it right to it without having to export and upload and whatnot so that's really cool Adds printer settings to the sidebar, print job naming, it's kind of cool, profile analyzer. I'm, I'm seeing some of these too, so I didn't even plug in to analyze Cura profiles, configuration much easier, export the interesting. Uh, snap maker, tab anti-warping. This is a neat one. So yeah, when you, when you put a little tab there, instead of using a brim, you could use uh, these little round tabs. Um, I have seen that used before. That's pretty neat. Adds an application and job name to the title bar. Universal Cura settings. The offset. Yeah. So those are pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and quit this one. We'll come back here. We'll open it back up. And check this out. So I'm going to run a calibration cube on this printer over here. Because I'm really, I really want to use it. I've got a you know a nice lurge k board on it it's water cooled I, I, i've done so much to that printer over there that's one of my my few heavily modified printers that i still have um compared to like the farm of stock printers i'm running now so i i really want to make it work so up here on the top left we go to extensions and then part for calibration and boom add a calibration cube look at that that's so cool and they have a ton up here so you know, if we go to, to part for calibration, look at all these things. So retract towers, XY calibration test, a bridge test. So, oh, neato. Like, that's that's cool. The fact that those are already pre-made now in Cura, and you can just import it without having to import files, super, super useful. I'm going to be using that a lot more often. I'm curious on this post-processing. There's a post-processing add script? What? Create a thumbnail. I don't know what any of these are. Temp fan tower, speed tower. Speed tower, command acceleration, starting value. 
So this is something that maybe if you know more about this, you could teach me in the comments. Display file name and layer on LCD. I have no idea what post-processing plugin is really doing. Fast first infill? First layout infill speed 30 millimeter? Yeah, I'm just not, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. Wait, did I just have those turned on? Uh, yeah, exit, exit. <laughs> That's going to be funny if it starts messing up my stuff and it's because I did that. Um, material cost tool. So it looks like I can put it, oh, mesh tools. This is what I was curious on, mesh tools. Let's see, randomize location, apply transfer, reset organ, mesh tool settings. Interesting. I was thinking this mesh tools might have had, it looks like this is mostly for repairing tools. Um, I was hoping that it would have something more related to like smoothing or some type of sculpting on it so that I could do like an auto smoothing real quick but it does not look like that's the uh, that's what that's for so yeah fix simple holes fix normal holes uh, so if I select that model and I just say fix normal holes yeah nothing happens it'd take a broken model in order to, to fix that one but I just want to talk about those and I'll show you real quick um, so I'm not sure what the heck I did to this but what's happening is it will print one layer, or like part of a layer, get an error, and then continue printing, but scoot over like an inch. So it'll do that one, two times, and then it's just rammed up against this wall trying to print. So I don't know, it's something in the G-code specifically. Because I printed a calibration cube, and it worked. And I, but I just tried to do a benchy, and it didn't work. So I'm thinking that the calibration cube, being just straight lines, arc welder didn't have anything to straighten out and work with. But on these curved lines, that seems to be where it's getting an issue, because I'm thinking arc welder was turned on in the background. So if you had arc welder turned on on 4.13 and it was messing with you, um, you know, in 5.0, you might just need to uninstall it and reinstall it. Um, but yeah, arc welder specifically, what it does is come down here, so converts multiple arc segments into G2 arc movements. Um, so I think that, you know, that doesn't seem to work on certain motherboards or some motherboards just don't know how to compute that right. Um, and I think that might be what's happening here. So we're going to find out and uh, see if I can if I can get this printer running again. But yeah, I just want to show that if you're not familiar with the marketplace, check that out. Um, there's a couple of neat features to uh, be had there. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.